Hello my internet friends and welcome back to the channel. It has been a little while since I've had a video out here because things have been happening. There's been there's been a lot going on. I'm down in the basement again this morning and I have a bit of a purpose today. But just to give you a bit of an update, this is the current state of my basement. This is the living room in the basement that I use. Give a little bit more light in here. I've been using hue lights for everything down here because the overhead lights I'm just not a fan of. I think I'm actually going to uh, take some time and replace both of those with can lights. And at that point I can easily replace all of them with hue bulbs, which will allow me to have a little bit more fine grain control over the lighting. And this is definitely not the final layout, the final scenario for this room. This couch just really doesn't have a great place down here. I'm trying to figure that out, but I wanted to have this couch closer to the TV than where it was on the far back wall, and doing that actually opened up this whole space back here so that I have room for my treadmill desk, for my, my computer, for working and editing videos. I've got a little table here with a laptop. I'm going to set up my Windows desktop on there sort of as a gaming station. I do currently have the 42-inch TV over there. That's what I use for entertainment whenever I'm down here, which surprisingly enough, I don't spend a whole lot of time down here. I do spend a lot of time down here during the day, which will be changing very soon. We'll get to that in a little bit. But when the family's home, I'm generally upstairs. And we've we've done a lot upstairs as well. Maybe I'll take you around up there in a minute too. However, this is very quickly going to be replaced with that once I have a stand that will actually fit it. That was kind of a mistake. I bought this TV, 65 inch TV, without buying a stand that's capable of holding it. What I will probably end up doing temporarily is taking a table like this that is capable of holding the weight and put the 65 inch on that table. And then when we can find the time to go to Ikea or a nicer furniture store, I'll find something that will be big enough to hold it. But anyway, what I'm gonna be working on today, the reason that I'm downstairs, thought I'd show you my office setup down here, my studio setup. And there you have it. Completely different color, so the camera's being a little angry about it, but I have finally cleaned this room out, and I did, as of last night, get my whole camera set up ready to go. So I've got this new little rig that I put in place. In the last house, I was really obsessed with having this one giant rolling unit, and I come to the realization that that's just not practical. So I have the microphone on a boom mic stand so I can move it independently. I've got the overhead camera on its own stand with a bunch of sandbags holding it down to make it a little bit more stable and steady. I have the main camera on its own tripod because the lens on it has some mad vibration that just really interacts with everything else when it's all on the same stand. And then the two primary lights up here, which will actually be replaced very soon. A company called Aperture reached out and sent me a box full of lights and basically said, once you get into the new studio and your new place, get these lights set up, they'll get you right where you need to be. So that's definitely one of the next things to do. But the first thing to do, you may be able to tell this color of the room is not really it's not a flattering color, and of course the heat's gonna come on right now. It's kind of a yellow, it's kind of a off-white, it, it just looks dirty. And there are a lot of spots on the wall that are very scratched up and dirty, like all of this right here. So I went out to the local paint store last night, and I picked up a gallon of paint, and I've got all of my tools and everything to turn this wall this color. This doesn't look like a huge change, but I've got a feeling it is going to be a pretty significant one. And if you can see it, that's the color that I picked out. It's called Mindful Gray. It's an HGTV color. They, they have this HGTV paint at Sherwin-Williams, not sponsored. If they want to sponsor, that'd be cool. If HGTV wants to send out some people to make over my basement, that would be absolutely amazing because there's still so much work to be done in what will be my new office. Speaking of office though, in addition to this space, which is going to be my studio for the time being, it's kind of bland, it's kind of small, but it does get the job done. It gives me a lot of flexibility to be able to come in and out easily with products. Those products actually live in this room. And again, I've got hue lights in here for the moment. We do have the overhead light and I might replace that with a, a can light as well. But I moved some of the old shelves from the old house in here. I bought some shelves to put in here. I've actually come up with a really kind of interesting idea for this room, just going off on a tangent here. This area of this room is eventually going to be a 3D printing studio. So any new 3D printers that I have coming in, I can stick them in here. This is kind of the farthest away area from the rest of the house. So any noise that happens down here is not going to offend or bother anybody. So this makes the perfect place to have 3D printing stuff going all the time. So I've just got to get all that set up. But again, this room, you know, I've got my lighting stuff, my stands, 
of course, I have a shelf full of products to review. It makes it look a lot smaller whenever it's all stacked on a shelf kind of like that, but there's a lot of stuff in there that I have to go through. It's kind of ridiculous. And then this, it's just stuff I have to unbox. Whenever we do have the time to make it to a place like Ikea, I'm gonna be investing in probably a couple of wardrobes, things with dividers and shelves and drawers and everything, so that I can more adequately store my things that I need to use for filming and tech and whatever else. But I probably ought to go ahead and get started painting this room. All right, so just as a bit of a quick test, this is the before color, and that's the after color. It's obviously not dry yet. It will look a little bit different whenever it's all said and done, but in theory, this yellow color is going to be going away in favor of this sort of silvery gray. So let's get to work. And in theory, this is kind of what it's going to look like afterward. It's still drying, so you've got some seams here that are, are still looking a little bit rough. There's this whole area down here that I haven't actually done yet just because it's the trim at the bottom, so I'm gonna do that in a bit. But this is what it looks like compared to what it did before. Or doesn't look like a huge difference on camera, but it's very, very gray in here. Maybe if I make the, the lights dimmer or if I change the color. Turn on magenta in office. Magenta coming right up. That does change the tone a little bit. Turn the office lights red. Red coming right up. And if I move other lights in here, it'll help. But let's just turn the lights back to normal. There we go. So this is what it would look like every day. All right, making pretty good progress. I think I'm like an hour in or something. I'm kind of taking my time with it, but there's the before, there's the after. I kind of started in the middle of this wall so that I could see what it looks like on camera. But yeah, so I've still got all of this area to do, but I'm getting there. At this point, I've, I've got a lot of trim I've got to do, but I've got, what, two and a half walls done, maybe a little bit more than that. So I've got this one main wall and then about half of this wall and of course lots and lots of trim work left to do but it's just something I'm not terribly good at. I do have this little guy to help sort of edge but I've already started making a few mistakes just accidentally touching the ceiling here and there and you do what you gotta do. So I'm gonna go wash my hands off real quick, have some lunch, try to get back to it. I'm not a huge fan of painting but this could be worse. All right, so now that it is lunchtime, got my lunch cooking back there. Just a couple of quick things. One, current state of the, the keeping room. I've got a recliner, a TV. So basically when one kid is in here watching TV or, or watching a movie or something, the other kid can be in here watching his own thing. Parents can be in one room watching one thing, kids in the other room, and we're still within shouting distance, within walking distance easily. That's my lunch done. I'm gonna give it some time to cool off. But that does give us two little points of entertainment, which is kind of nice. We definitely turn the TVs off during meal times, though. Now moving on upstairs. We still have not done a single thing with this room. This is going to be a guest room. We're just gonna probably want to paint it first because it's kind of a peachy pinky color that we just don't like. But the one thing we have been working on, this is now officially a four bedroom house. My dad came in this past weekend, we framed this up, we put some drywall up, sheetrock, drywall, whatever. I've just got to finish sanding and drywalling it and then we can paint this whole room. Duncan's picked out his own color. I don't know what color Ellis's will be, but probably something similar. And then when you come into Ellis's room, you can see we've got wall on this side as well. The one real problem with this setup is this switch right here. That switch controls the light in this room, whereas the switch beside his doorway controls one of the hallway lights. So my dad and I were talking about it, and I think what we're gonna try to do the next time he comes down is we're going to just completely do away with the switch over on this wall. We're going to tie this switch into the light in this bedroom, and then tie this light into the hallway lights that are down that way. So there'll be a switch down the hall that will turn all of these on together, and then Ellis will have his own dedicated switch for his room. Makes a little bit more sense to me. Anyway, time to go have my lunch now, and then back to painting. And actually, I nearly forgot to mention it. There's definitely one more thing that has to be discussed. A large part of the reason why I'm able to be doing what I'm doing at the moment. For this very week, I am technically not employed. The company that I was working for before decided that the position that I was in needed to be different, so they changed the position. They did away with my old position. And so I either had to find another place inside the company or vacate. I didn't want to mention any of this before until things were kind of nailed down, but I was offered a new position at a different company. I do start that position on Monday morning, which means that for this week, I am at home. I'm open to doing whatever needs to be done around the house. So I've been fixing this, that, and the other. I, I 
cleared clogs in the dryer vent. I've been drywalling upstairs. Like I said it before, I'm painting in this room. I'm going to be painting a couple of other rooms probably. Getting done the things that I need to get done and hopefully getting back to making a few videos before the week is up so that I can have content to start pushing out. Unfortunately, the new job that I've taken, I'm not going into specifics on it or anything, but it's different in that for the last three years or so, I've been able to work from home. It's made it really easy to be able to make videos and everything's been very flexible so I can still get my day job done and then also have time to make videos and do stuff around the house and help with the kids and it sounds overwhelming but it was very nice because I worked from home. It made it a whole lot easier to do those things. The new job, I will not be working from home. As far as I'm aware, that's just not even an option there. Maybe sometime down the road, I can sort of work up to doing a day or two days from home. They did talk about, you know, if there's a snow day or if your kid's sick or something, you can definitely work from home, but it's not something that they highly encourage. And that's something that we'll just work on. And if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. But starting on Monday, I'm going to be in an office, away from home every day, just like an average normal person, and that's fine. But it does mean that some things are going to have to change in terms of YouTube. It means that I'm not going to be able to, at any given moment, stop what I'm doing and start working on a video. I'm not going to be able to reply to comments 100% of the time. I'm not going to be on Twitter all day long. I'm going to have to really be nailed down to my schedule of when I get off work, I come home, we have dinner, spend some time with the kids, and then after the kids go to bed, I work on YouTube stuff, spend time with the wife, of course, and whatnot. But either way, things are definitely going to be changing, and hopefully for the better. So, back to my lunch. And it's much, 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 much later. Skipped the entirety of the rest of the day, in fact. But I got it done. At least about as done as it's going to be for right now. And of course, the, the color is kind of showing up weirdly because of the lighting, but this is sort of the primary area that will be shown on video moving forward. Once everything is thoroughly dried and cured, I'll put all of the plates back on, but I did paint all of the trim. There's a little bit of touch-up work I have to do around the ceiling, but that's not a problem. But there you go. This is kind of what it's gonna look like in my new studio setup. I've also been kind of playing around with my whole setup here. This room and the way that I've got it organized, because it is dedicated to being a filming space, means that I can kind of arrange it the way that I want, which means that I've got a lot of breathing room because all that I'm putting in this room it's just camera equipment. So like my table and my cameras and lights, and then the thing that I'm gonna be making a video about, and then that's it. Just me and the product, <laughs> then all the rest of this room. So I have lots and lots of space, even though this is not a terribly huge room. This is the size of a small bedroom, and it's actually significantly smaller than the office that I had in the old house. But the office I had in the old house, I was also using as a work office and also as a game room. So I had a big couch and I had a big desk and a big set of shelves. In this house, I'm going to have a full separate room as we discussed earlier for all of my storage. Much, much bigger room for all of the gameplay type stuff. I'm definitely loving this house. And although Christina is upstairs putting the boys to bed right now, I was upstairs helping just a minute ago. She was yelling down trying to find me, basically saying this house is entirely too big. That's one of the things that's kind of good about it. Because right now, if I close the doors down here, I could go ahead and start working. I could start filming things right now. <sighs> And that's, that's great. Because in the old house, I really couldn't do that because I was directly underneath Duncan's bedroom. So any noise that I made, he would hear it immediately above me and that, that was a problem. So I'm really looking forward to using this space and I've got a lot of stuff to do. But now that I've painted the room, I can use it. So if you have not already, subscribe to both this channel and my tech channel, my main channel, if you will. I'm definitely getting very close to that 100,000 subscriber mark. It says that I'm gonna hit it just after my birthday. So on like May 18th, May 19th. So if you wanna help me get to 100,000 a little bit sooner, definitely hit the subscribe button over there because this channel is nowhere near 100,000. We're at like almost 7,000 on this channel, which is still very cool for a channel that I don't do a whole lot with. And I think that's where I'm gonna wrap the video up up for today. I'm going to go ahead and get back to work making things, filming things, doing stuff with the family. I'm probably going to go look at movies with the wife because Christina was asking earlier if we can watch a movie together tonight and I think that's what we're going to do. So thank you guys as always for watching. We'll see you again next time.